stream of consciousness. It's like, man, at least with the internet, I could be a filmmaker. I'm 45. I always wanted to be a filmmaker. During 2020, I would smoke cigars, drink beer, and talk. So, to be honest, I've never ever done a stream of consciousness. Apparently, a stream of consciousness is like you guys just kind of ramble on on everything or anything that comes to mind. I think I'm learning, or the one, th the one takeaway that I got, maybe. The internet is for pornography and conspiracy theories. I uh, honestly, I've used it for both. Uh, not saying that was a good idea. I'm not justifying it, but it's very curious to me. Stream of consciousness. Hmm. So this is pretty much what you experience. The videos. I have this one video game. Uh, video game. I uh, haven't played video games for a long time, but I video games for a long time. But I had this one uh, video that I've done. Uh, it's in my uh, maybe I'll post it. It's like uh, pornography recovery room. Pornography porno recovery room. Hmm. Very um. I don't know, does that, any, does that make sense to anybody? But it's a stream of consciousness. Wow. So, I'm uh, talking about stuff that just comes to my mind. Uh, nah, see? You can't force stream of consciousness. It's just supposed to come out like, whatever is supposed to come out. It comes out. So. <laughs> There's a truck over there. Do you see it pass by? American flag on it. Dude, we're United States citizens. And it's gonna be bad thing to fly the American flag. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's gonna get to that point. Dude, the guy's blasting uh, heavy hard rock music and flying the flag. <laughs> Oh boy, I, I guess that's kind of, uh, that's what I was going to say too, part of my stream of consciousness. There's three things that are very, very upsetting to me right now, okay? There's three things. The first thing was uh, the COVID-19 that I've experienced and last night. I'm keeling over the COVID-19 and I have some major mood swings. And my wife picked a fight with me last night. It was terrible, man. I, <laughs> I laugh now. <laughs> and, uh, and the second thing was uh, the whole thing that happened at the Capitol. You know, if you see my videos, if you watch any of my videos, you know what side I'm on. But the way that they uh, did or what they did uh, during the capital thing, I can't even spell capital. Capital. Anyway, so it, it's not cool. It wasn't appropriate. It's not okay. And of course, my go-to idea was like, oh well, no, that was not. That was not patriots. That was Antifa or BLM. I went on the FBI website looking really hard trying to find information or a segment of my. YouTube videos about like oh stay off the digital stay off the electronics during the weekend but this weekend I did not stay off of the electronics apparently I just was too uh,
I still am very curious about conspiracy theories. Man, back in the day you would have to search really, really hard to get any information about conspiracy theories. Like really hard. You would have to like go to those tabloid magazines and the grocery stores or check out, check out stands. I'm still confused. Still confused. It's Saturday. You wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe what I've experienced the last 24 hours. Is it a conspiracy theory to be like, you know what? I was outside a couple weeks ago and there's chemtrails in the sky. It's probably a conspiracy, but the chemtrails were in the sky over Los Angeles. And shortly after that, there's an outbreak of COVID-19. Probably a coincidence. You know, 2020 is all just coincidence. <clears throat> what happened uh, at the Capitol building? This was a coincidence. It was a coincidence. It was orchestrated. It wasn't helped by any ways. Just a bunch of insane uh, people that did that at the Capitol. And the COVID-19 outbreak after chemtrails in the sky. Coincidence. Well, maybe that's going to be the name of this video. Coincidence. You know, don't don't get me wrong at all. Because of the whole thing like, death sucks. Death is permanent. But if you're a believer, death is not really a bad thing. It may be bad for the ones that are left behind. It may suck. They may miss you, just like my dad. He he died. Um, probably before his time. I mean, I mean, uh, it, I mean, speaking of age, you know, not like, uh, you know, because God God gives and takes life. It was tragic. That sucks. Like I said. Anyway. Um, I think it was last week so last week there was a, a car accident or a couple days ago maybe it was <sighs> anyways it doesn't matter when I don't know why I'm getting caught up on dates but uh, right here on the main the main way right here through my city where I live there was a terrible car accident I guess someone died no and it's curious to me when I am in uh, having mood swings and over hopefully uh, getting over the COVID-19 um, that's permanent you know, this person had a car accident. They they crashed, and, and, and they're permanently gone now, dead. I'm probably mostly tripping out tonight. <laughs> I can't really explain it. I can't explain it at all because of the whole thing with. Um, yeah, I can't explain it. I'm not even gonna try. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not really able to gather my thoughts either. I am kind of actually trying to gather my thoughts right now because of the, um, because, you know, that's another funny thing. I look around my neighborhood and I remember I was walking to go get some food. Not too long, well, it was probably like two years ago, actually can't believe it man maybe it's been three years ago and I was like tripping out no outlets again so I was tripping out on the man the sky is really nice too bad it's not like a super like megapixels that you can see all the stars in the sky but um, I was like tripping out on the whole 
thing when I was walking the other day. The other day. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter where. But I was walking right through the neighborhood and I was like, whoa, that guy has a fancy camera. And he had a couple people that he was, uh, he or she, I don't remember, but they were uh, doing video. It looked like it was maybe some interesting content. I mean, it wasn't a cheap camera either. So that was quite interesting. No outlets. But there is outlet. Oh, look, an airplane. Let me see if I can frame it. Oh, look at it. Whoa. wonder if I could, like, use that footage. No outlets when the plane flies over. That's funny, you know what comes to mind when I see this sign? It says no outlets. I guess for the uh, internet, it's also a good outlet. An outlet, but it's also a good inlet too. So you gotta really be careful what kind of stuff you put inside your mind. You know, I don't usually eat late. Today I eat late. I'm not even sure what time it is, probably 10 something. And so it's Saturday night when I'm supposed to be laying off the digital devices and the electronics. Uh, this light comes in. My name is uh, TD Dammitz and uh, I'm an electronics and digital device um, ad 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 addict. And it's been 10 seconds since the last time I used my, my digital device. Oh, actually, it says 36 on the clock. It's been 36 seconds since I started making this video. My name is TD Dammitz, and I'm a digital holic, electronics holic. And uh, it's been, gosh darn it, I think I got my first smartphone. My first smartphone was maybe 20. Uh, 2009? Whoa. 2010 maybe? Wow. And I'm using my really, my, my, um, crap, um, phone right now <clears throat> to do my video. I think that might be enough, uh, uh, video recording right now. Maybe I could go get some B rail some B footage some B footage be real be real footage you know what I mean um, because some stock footage some night nice stocking some night nice stock footage there's a lot more traffic over here usually but uh, okay, so anyways, this is a the guy. The guy died in this area. Here's his. Uh, but man, when people die, people are missed, man. Like no doubt. Just like the COVID nineteen. You know, I I um, I guess I'm paying respects. You know, it's a sucky thing, man. Oh, someone, no, oh, there's a couple rock stars that are <laughs> monsters. They're monster energy drinks. So, oh, spells his name maybe, the candles. So, that's a pretty sucky deal. So anyways, like I said, I usually, I will drink my beer, smoke a cigar, and pontificate about life. But since of the COVID-19 thing that I had or have still um, I'm not smoking no cigars right now I did have an alcoholic beverage tonight uh, my wife made something called pink panties sounds kind of vulgar but it's good stuff. <laughs> pink panties are good oh my gosh that's like terrible I mean uh, anyways it's an alcoholic beverage okay it has um gin and sherbet ice cream I think and uh, Sprite 
seven up something like that I mean you could try it I remember drinking like okay we had a beverage like that growing up but they didn't have gin in it it was Sprite and rainbow sherbet it's kind of like a, a root beer float but instead of ice cream it's sherbet and instead of root beer it's seven up so I was familiar with the drink but adding gin is a whole different whole different bevidos the San Fernando Valley at night huh, lampshade I wonder if I should try to get it okay and number three the third thing on my stream of consciousness I, <laughs> I mean the three things that have been very upsetting during my COVID-19 garbage the third thing I kind of it was kind of part of the first thing I said is that the domestic garbage going through my life right now I can't really say too much because I know my family watches my videos and I don't want to upset anybody even if you're not my family if I was too opinionated about something it might upset you I'm going for a walk around the block I used to be able to do it no problem, but since COVID-19, it's not so easy to get around the block anymore. Whew, man, I'm tired already. But then again, it's almost bedtime anyway, so that could be another reason why I'm tired and, and out of breath. take it what the heck it's broken <laughs> things you find at night what the heck <laughs> 